Hi, I'm Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking. Today is a video that has been asked for for a long time and I'm finally getting around to making it. Uh, this video goes out to Paul's Blind Soup for the Soul. He's been asking me for this for probably about three years. And Paul's been one of my subscribers from almost near the beginning and uh, I promised him this was the year. So we're gonna get out pierogies today. Um, I'm going to do two kinds. I'm going to do the mashed potato and um, sharp cheddar cheese ones. And I'm also going to do the sauerkraut ones because those are the ones we love. Um, Mike's Aunt Anne used to be the one to make the uh, pierogies every year along at Christmas along with uh, the rice pudding. And her pierogies were wonderful. You know, they'd be in the crock pot swimming in butter and onions on Christmas Eve. So this is kind of a... Uh, uh, an ode to Aunt Anne because she passed here now a couple years ago. But before she passed, she gave me her, her pierogi recipe, which I have here, and I'm using hers. Hers is a little bit different in the pierogi dough in that she used, uh, used sour cream. Now, one of my friends who's also a Pennsylvanian and has a YouTube channel is Mary over at the Rex Fam. Uh, that's her channel name, is the Rex Fam. And Mary also comes from a Polish background, and Mary also does pierogies, and she makes a gazillion of them every year. Um, she has a really good video out on her channel on making pierogies, and I'm going to put a link to her channel down below, along with uh, Paul's Blind Soup for the Soul. Uh, so go check them out. Uh, I'm sure her recipe is absolutely delicious. I think she uses milk instead of sour cream in her pierogi dough. Um, so her recipe is a bit different and she actually I think lists a couple the standard big one because she does really big batches and then her um, everyday go-to one so uh, we're going to do this in a couple stages I've already cooked my potatoes but I'm going to show you what goes into this and let's get to it so um, the prerequisite for the filling it potatoes the shredded cheddar cheese, uh, grated onion, butter. Um, I've also got sauerkraut and I'll add some uh, mushrooms and butter and onions to that when I do that up. Then for the dough, it's going to be the flour, sour cream, baking powder, salt, a couple lightly um, beaten eggs, and that'll be for the dough. So I'm going to show you how to put this together. First thing I'm going to do is um, finish up my potato filling here while it's hot and we're going to saute the butter and onions because we're going to add that then to the mashed potatoes with the cheese to make our potato and cheese filling. And when that's made then we'll make the dough and then the dough has to rest and while we make while the dough rests we'll make the sauerkraut filling. So I've got my butter melted, probably a couple tablespoons, and I've probably got about a cup of uh, grated onion here. Not all of it's going to go in the potato one, some's going to go in the uh, sauerkraut ones as well. If they're really strong onions, you don't need as many. If you're using a sweeter onion like a Vidalia or, or a Spanish sweet onion, you can use a little bit more. Of course, it's partly dependent on taste if you really like your onions, which we do. So we're going to let these saute up until they're translucent and we can add them to our potato and cheese mixture. Now I've just taken my potatoes here and done a quick mash so they're nice and hot. And then we're going to add the cheese and typically you would say probably about a cup of cheese but you know it's one of those feel things. But mix it in while it's nice and hot so then it melts in to put the potatoes. And maybe a little bit more. Maybe like a cup and a half. I probably have about three pounds of potatoes here. Um, but, you know, it's a fuel thing. And how you like them. And that looks pretty good. And it also smells awesome. 
So as soon as my onions are done, we'll add them in and we'll have our potato filling made. Onions are done and I'm going to add, oh, about half of them. Like that and I'll set the other aside for the sauerkraut ones. And then we can mix these up. Oh man, this smells so good. Okay, so we have our potato filling now already made. Now we're going to work on the dough, the pierogi dough. We'll add in our flour and our baking powder and our salt. I'll bring my bowl up. I'm going to start getting that mixed. I'm going to add in my eggs. And then we'll add in my sour cream, which gives it a really nice tender texture and taste. And we'll get that mixed in. So the dough is out. Just give it a couple beads like that. And then I'm going to I'm going to cut this in half and half again. And we're going to let this rest, the dough rest about 15 minutes. Now for the while the dough's resting, and by the way, I wrapped it in saran wrap so that um, it doesn't dry out while it's resting. I'm going to make up some sauerkraut filling. And I'm going to do some uh, chopped portobello baby mushrooms here with, I'm going to chop this uh, sauerkraut up a little bit finer. I'm going to add the sautéed butter and onions. It's going to be our sauerkraut mixture. And as always, I'll have the recipes with the amounts and stuff in the description below the video. And while my sauerkraut filling is sauteing up, I also have a pot of lightly salted water getting ready to boil for our pierogies to go into as soon as they're done. Now, you can roll the dough out. It's rested. And you can roll the dough out by hand or, or you can invest in a roller like I did. I have this on setting 8 here um, to roll the dough. I'm going to do this between two and four. And this is just a whole lot easier on my wrists and arms. And we'll make a couple here with this sauerkraut.
and here they are boiling and you know they're done when they're puffed up and floating. They don't take real long. They only take three to four minutes. And then you can take them out and you can either slather them in butter and onions in a crock pot like Annie Ann or fry them up like I like to in a little butter. And they're ready to come out of the pot. See if you make sure they're pinched off good, not dry, they don't open up on you. And the first plate's out, and we're gonna get these fixed up, ready to serve. Pierogies. Here they are, in all their buttery glory. Oh yeah, one of the best things in the whole world, pierogies. So, this one is the sauerkraut filled one. I freaking love these. A little sauerkraut. Oh my god. So good. Mm -mm. That's like heaven. That's Polish heaven right there. And then here are the potato and cheese stuffed ones. And I used that really good super sharp cheddar from um, Golden Age Cheese Company. Absolutely delicious. And let's do the potato one. Oh man. Oh man. Best things ever. So you can fry these up, you can do them in the crock pot with, you know, like a pound of butter and onions. These are already cooked, so you can also go and put them in uh, bags and freeze them and save them for later, which I'm definitely going to do with some of these. It makes a lot. So. Um, I'm going to bag some of these up and put them in the freezer for later, for another day, but there you go. Finally made the pierogies. Um, like I said, check out Mary at Rexfam. She's a pro. She does dozens and dozens and dozens of these on a professional level. And uh, Paul, Merry Christmas. You got your pierogies.